Okay, welcome to the lecture number 65. So, we have been uh, working uh, on the magnetic satellite attitude control, means satellite attitude control using magnetic torquer. So, in that context, we uh, looked into some preliminaries and the basic uh, requirements for doing the magnetic attitude control, the satellite dynamics and how the magnetic uh, torque acts and what are the conditions un under which uh, magnetic torque may not be available. So, this will be directly given by this tau is the torque. So, this m cross b. So, if m becomes parallel to b, so in that case this torque vanishes. So, if we are given a satellite and we have to design a magnetic control for that. So, in that case you will start with your basic requirement. Okay, you are looking for the inertial pointing or you are looking for the earth pointing satellite. It is it a circular orbit or is it a uh, elliptical orbit? In the electric in the elliptical orbit uh, um, this uh, stability proof is difficult. In the circular orbit it is a relatively uh, easy. So, uh, and various other problems are there. So, those things need to be sorted out, but for most of the small satellite, we have small budget satellite because the coils making coil magnetic coil for the satellite it is a uh, not a costly job. On the other hand, if you use the CMG the control moment gyros or the reaction wheels for using the control. So, they are very costly and especially as the size reduces. So, the uh, that fabrication of the system it becomes difficult. So, the uh, in comparison to the size and the price, the price will be on the um, higher side for the smaller ones. Okay. So, if, uh, in view of that the magnetic satellite attitude control, if your mission requirement is not very stringent means you have to point very uh, to the milli arc second or something like that. So, you should not worry and uh, this uh, magnetic attitude control will work for uh, till uh, one degree of pointing accuracy, it can work very well. Okay. So, last time we have been working with the uh, uh, I stated that the dynamics can be dynamics can be averaged, and why this averaging is required. So, uh, I uh, will go through that and already I was stated that if the excitation is if the excitation is much faster as compared to the dynamics then averaging can be applied. Okay, so, uh, and then we have also looked into the controllability issue. So, as you know from your uh, basic control system that if the system is not controllable. So, there is no question of uh, it is uh, you know, proving it is a uh, stability. Okay. You want to drive the system straight to the origin of the system. Okay. So, if, uh, in that con context if you are putting the basically you are applying a control your system may be unstable. Okay. And uh, if all these states can be affected Okay, through your control only then you will say that the system is controllable. Okay, this is in a very rough language. Okay. So, for that now we start and look into the controllability issue as we were discussing last time. And uh, there is a paper on this that uh, we worked out. So, I cannot upload the paper because it will be a copyright violation, but I will name you the paper and if you want to look into the other details it is available in this paper. Okay. 
magneto coulombic and this was published by journal of guidance controls and dynamics so volume number page number it's not available but if you give this uh, title so it will appear in and this was published by AIA. So, in the Google it will appear, but it is not freely available. Okay, so, you may have to look for uh, some library where the journal of guidance control, this journal is available. So, in that journal you will find it. This is on magneto coulombic. So, this is uh, magneto coulombic means it is a uh, there is charge on the satellite. Say, I have a satellite here and on the satellite surface charge is there on this side there is plus on this side there is minus. So, as the charge moves through the space so in the magnetic field. So, this charge interacts with the magnetic field okay. q times v cross b this is the force acting on this charge. Okay. Therefore, about the center of mass of the satellite a net torque will be produced here on this side there is minus sign okay. and this torque can be used to actuated, actuate the satellite. So, this is a new system and uh, but the magnetic attitude control and this magneto coulombic attitude control there is a large portion of these two things uh, two methods they are mathematically they are common. Okay. So, if, uh, referring to this one uh, it will solve all your problems. And, uh, some of the materials on the stability proof I am going to upload. Uh, I will not uh, do here because the time is uh, because the lack of the time and uh, moreover it will be better that if I upload that material, So, but the paper I cannot upload because of the copyright violation. So, some of the proofs I am going to upload uh, shortly uh, maybe next week this week uh, it is not possible next week I will do all those things. Okay, we state a proposition proposition it is a main theorem So, uh, these are the torques due to gravity gradient magnetic magnetic torquer and this is due to the disturbance. So, uh, this is one equation and then uh, you have the kinematic equation that we have written last time. So, these two together it forms the this is system dynamics and this is system kinematics system dynamics and this is system kinematics. Where omega r is the angular velocity with respect to the orbital frame. So, let the system dynamics be defined by the and these two equations system dynamics and kinematics. Okay. 
So, b tilde 0 assuming that b tilde 0 satisfies and these are function of t. So, better we can write in terms of t. R stands for the real space. So, if this condition is satisfied uh, as we were discussing last time, so where V 0 tilde this is the unit vector along the magnetic field. in the orbital frame means the components are in the orbital frame. So, if this condition is satisfied then we can define a quantity gamma bar uh, this I do not remember last time which uh, notation I have used. So, I am keeping it gamma bar limit and this quantity we have written as this is transpose here. So, this quantity we have written as s times b tilde this is 0 s this becomes transpose and obviously, this cross the way we have defined is so, this will appear with a minus sign b 0 tilde cross equal to minus s b 0. Okay. So, the minus minus for these two this, that becomes plus. So, I have omitted that part here writing directly this part. So, this d t will be greater than 0. So, as I have explained you last time that this is implying that the future value of b 0 t does not depend on the past value of t in a linear manner. If it is depending on the past value of b 0 t in a linear manner. So, and I have shown you that these two can be taken out of the bracket and uh, uh, as this quantity is a singular, it is a singular matrix. Okay. So, therefore, this condition cannot be satisfied. So, this gamma bar this is called the average control matrix control matrix. So, if, uh, and from why we are taking that average because here in this case for this part this T tilde m it was written as S B tilde times S B tilde transpose times U tilde T. And if this is just state dependent, okay, then if we integrate this with respect to T, okay. So, th this can be taken out of the u t can be taken out of the integration sign and we will get the term in uh, uh, let me go and uh, so if write it on the next page. So, your uh, t magnetic moment this term we can write in terms of 
S B tilde this is in the body frame B is in the body frame S B tilde transpose D T uh, this is U T. Okay. So, if this is only a state dependent means it is not explicit function of time. then it uh, if we average it out this torque ok. So, Okay, it can written in this way this average value of this torque. So, this is average value of the magnetic torque in the body frame and this will indicate by gamma bar. So, we have to prove that this quantity gamma bar which we can write as this is the average control matrix limit this is your gamma bar. We need to prove given that gamma bar 0 which is being defined as limit tau tends to infinity these are tilde this is d t here and d t is missing here. So, we need to put the d t also here in this place. So, this is your control matrix, this is in terms of orbital frame components and here this is in the body frame components. So, based on the assumption that this condition is satisfied which implies that gamma bar we, we should write here 0, 0 here also in this place because this is in the orbital frame. Okay. So, this implies that this will be true, this implies this okay. and if this is given then we need to prove that this will be true. Okay. So, that means gamma bar we have to prove that gamma bar is non singular. So, on an average we can do the control along the three axis for this system which is described here. Okay. So, this is the objective. So, the preposition it uh, 
proposition this is proposition it uh, states like this Okay, so, this particular part what we are doing that we have written this as T the magnetic torque this can be written uh, or in terms of tilde mat matrix notation this can be written as gamma this in the body frame times u tilde where gamma is the control matrix and then this is averaged. So, once you average this, so this is gamma d t 0 to tau 1 by tau limit tau tends to infinity and this part we are writing as gamma bar. So, this is also in the body frame. So, this is the description. So, let me complete the theorem now. So, the in this proposition or the theorem, if this is given Okay, this part is given gamma 0 is greater than this. So, this implies I will write here in this place that gamma bar 0 this will be equal to limit tau tends to infinity and this part we are writing as gamma 0 and this will be function of t. So, T d t because B is B 0 is a function of T, it will vary with T, it is a time dependent part. Okay. And this should be if this is give greater than 0, assuming that B 0 satisfies this condition. So, this implies this and this implies this here. Okay. So, under that condition, what we have to prove? So, this is just for your information. Okay. The proposition I am going to complete on the next page. Okay. So, these are all for your information how the things are evolving. Okay. So, any angular velocity less than infinity for all t greater than t 0 t 0 lies between 0 and infinity then gamma bar this will be the limit tau tends to infinity 1 by tau will be greater than 0 along the trajectory of the system defined by equations 1 and 2. Okay, so, the we have written the dynamics and the kinematics equation. So, gamma bar should be greater than 0 along that trajectory, we need to prove that. Okay. So, proof is little mathematical and also logical okay. and it is a very old standing problem, it was uh, more than 6 decade old. Okay. So, let us look into the proof. I will try to be as short as possible, otherwise you can look into the paper name I have mentioned.
if gamma bar is greater than 0, which is a positive definite matrix, then there exists an arbitrary non zero unit vector or simply we can uh, write it as a because it is a unit vector and therefore, this will be non zero of course. So, we simply write here as the unit vector then there exists an arbitrary unit vector uh, we can name that vector as let us say w tilde 0. So, this is in orbital frame okay. w tilde 0 this is a constant vector arbitrary constant vector. such that so this is the basic property of a positive definite matrix because this will form a quadratic function and you will get it uh, greater than 0. So, I hope that uh, you know all these things from your uh, matrix algebra. Okay. So, this implies that we can write this as omega tilde 0 transpose and gamma bar 0 is nothing but S b 0 tilde times So, this should be greater than 0. this implies this is true. Okay, uh, now, because this omega 0 it is a constant vector. So, this can be taken inside the integration sign. Okay. So, we write like this that uh, this will be equal to. So, this implies omega 0 tilde transpose times S b 0 tilde b 0 tilde d t this will be greater than 0. Now, we convert this omega 0 this is in the orbital frame omega 0 tilde this is in in orbital frame arbitrary vector this is not the angular velocity vector or uh, either we can change it uh, so that the confusion does not arise uh, instead of omega we can let us make this as the a okay, so that there is no confusion left. Okay, so, uh, arbitrary constant here also we need to change. Okay, so, this is not the same thing as omega 0. Okay. So, this is an arbitrary constant vector. So, this property will be if this is positive definite greater than 0. So, this property will be satisfied and this implies that this is true and this implies that this will be true because a 0 is a constant. Now, a 0 this is in the body frame. 
So, we need to convert this into the uh, sorry it is uh, in the orbital frame. So, we need to convert it into the body frame. So, A 0 must be changed to A. So, this is in the body frame and this is in the orbital frame. So, we do the matrix transformation the attitude matrix in terms of the quaternion is known and there, therefore, it can be changed to the body frame. Okay, so, in the next step we have these two together we will club them together. We write it like this S uh, B 0 tilde times uh, A 0 tilde transpose this can be done ok. If you take open it up, so this appears as A 0 tilde transpose times S transpose B 0 tilde. Okay, here on this side you have simply this is written like this S transpose minus B times A 0. So, take care that this part was written as A 0 transpose times S times S transpose A 0, this is written in this format, okay, this particular one. Okay. So, A 0 transpose I can put here as minus S okay. and S transpose means this becomes equal to this S transpose is equal to minus S. So, this minus S we can fetch here in this place and put it with plus sign and this remains S and the minus s we carry here in this place write it as a 0 and now minus s we can write as s transpose a 0 transpose s a 0. So, this becomes s times a 0 transpose and this is s times a 0. Okay. So, using this manipulation we have written here in this place. So, this quantity is then greater than 0. So, this implies limit. Now, this quantity transpose this quantity. So, this is a vector. Okay. This is a skew symmetric matrix and this is a vector. So, this matrix product once we are taking. So, this will also be a vector and this will also be a vector. So, we can the same thing can be written as minus B 0 tilde cross A 0. I hope you are by now comfortable with this notation dot. Now, this is transpose. So, th these are two vectors. Okay. So, this transpose gets converted into dot product. So, this is B 0 tilde cross times A 0 tilde and this is d t. So, this will be greater than 0 and what this quantity is? This is nothing but your b 0 cross a 0. Okay. So, b 0 cross a 0 this we know that the angle between these two vectors. So, this can be written as some resultant vector. This is a unit vector b 0 also unit vector and a 0 is also unit vector. So, product of them will be just a unit vector say some uh, alpha or anything you can name alpha and uh, so uh, or uh, either you can write it like this. 
b 0 magnitude times a 0 magnitude times angle between them let us say this is theta. So, this becomes sin theta and uh, some vector which is perpendicular to both of them. So, unit vector in that direction and if it, I write it as E cap. So, this will be this can be written like this. So, as you can see that these are the unit vectors and therefore, this goes and simply you get as sin theta times E cap for this part. Similarly, the dot product you are taking with this minus minus sign will cancel out here. Okay. Minus sign will not stay. So, therefore, you get this as sin square theta and E cap dot E cap that becomes equal to 1. So, that goes also. So, sin square theta 0 to tau 1 by tau where theta is the angle between the vector b tilde 0 and a tilde 0. This is the angle between these two vectors. This vector is arbitrary and this vector is varying with time in the orbit. So, obviously, the angle between these two vector it is not going to be 0 anti unless the orbit is such that if you take an equatorial orbit. So, only in that case your b vector will be always fixed in a particular direction okay, almost fixed. So, which will be here what I am showing in this direction it will be going like this okay. depending of if we I write this as the south pole. Uh, my south magnetic pole. So, it will be going here in the downward direction. Okay. So, this is perpendicular all the time here in the same direction and therefore, the angle between B 0 and A 0 that will become constant and uh, and if A 0 if I choose it to be parallel to B 0 in that case. So, this becomes 0. So, this condition cannot be satisfied otherwise this B 0 direction in the orbit if you take any inclined orbit like this this inclined orbit this is equatorial orbit. So, in this inclined orbit your B 0 it keeps changing its direction and therefore, the angle between them will not be 0 between B 0 it may be for a few values, but not for all of them and therefore, you sum them. So, this quantity will be greater than 0 all the time. Okay. So, this is really true. Okay. for most of the orbit most of the orbits. Okay, so, from here onwards we have to now prove that for the details of the writing you can look into the paper if you get it. So, now we can write. So, what we have got that A 0 A 0 tilde transports times and A 0 is a quantity which can be written in terms of. So, if I operate on this with the attitude matrix this will get converted into the body frame. In the body frame as the body is rotating. So, you can see that uh, here this is your orbital frame we have chosen this direction to be x and this to be y 0 and z 0 inside. So, your body frame is rotating with respect to this. Okay. So, your body frame is here, here and it is a continuously it will be changing its direction. Okay. 
and this attitude matrix. So, therefore, this will be a function of time. So, we can see from this plus that a 0 this can be written as a q tilde inverse a tilde and this becomes inverse in nothing but this is a transformation matrix. So, we can replace all this thing here. So, this q I will drop and just I will use this t to indicate here. So, this this quantity here can be written as a 0 becomes and S B 0 similarly you can write in terms of A transpose B tilde where B tilde is the unit vector along the magnetic field in the body frame. So, B tilde is the unit vector along the magnetic field in the body frame. Okay, so, we expand it and here we have obviously, the limits are there 0 tau ok. So, if we rearrange it this is a tilde transpose a times this is a tilde this will be greater than 0 and then we can use the matrix property ok and uh, re rewrite this particular term. So, if, uh, if we use this part, okay, there is a uh, general uh, you can say if, uh, I can write it like this. Uh, this is a matrix identity which has a general form like this. determinant of matrix A times A inverse So, as you know for the uh, transformation matrix this is a generalized ok this is a skew symmetric matrix and this may be a general matrix, but here in this case we know that A is equal to 1 for the rotation matrix because it is a rotation matrix. So, this this equal to plus 1. So, we give it plus 1. So, this becomes 1 here and A inverse is nothing but A transpose and so this becomes S B tilde and here this is nothing but A inverse transpose. So, this A inverse transpose is A transpose whole transpose. So, this becomes A. So, this gets reduced into a very simple format. So, we can write therefore, A tilde transpose A times A transpose S B tilde times A. Similarly, we can expand this and if we expand it so, uh, that will appear as we have to take transpose of this quantity. This is the transpose of S. So, if we take transpose of S, so again we will have if we take transpose of this, so this will be A transpose S transpose this is B tilde and here we will get as A 
okay and thereafter we will have a transpose a tilde dt and this will be greater than 0 so you can see that these are identity matrix and therefore our case this gets simplified to tau tends to infinity 0 to tau a tilde transpose this will be greater than 0. So, you can see the simplification it gets reduced into the format where instead of b we got here b 0 and we got here b 0 in this place also which we have written here in this place. So, this is exactly the same form except that instead of a 0 here your a is up a is appearing and instead of b 0 here b is appearing. Okay, so, we will continue developing this. So, in the next lecture we are going to uh, work out this part. Uh, uh, thank you very much for listening.